Let's talk about the kinetic chain in golf. What is the kinetic chain? In golf, it's a sequence where power moves through different parts of your body uh, to bring power to the club head. Now, many people think this is just a power move. They associate it with something like hitting a sledgehammer. Just, you just take the sledgehammer and wham and hit it against what you want as hard as you can. Big muscles, big power, that's what powers the golf swing, right? Wrong. Golf swing has more in common with a whip than a sledgehammer. Now, what is it that causes the whip to make that cracking noise? Well, that's because the tip moves over 700 miles an hour and breaks the speed of sound. But how is it that just a, such a small movement with your arm, with a whip, can make the tip move faster than the speed of sound? Well, that's because a whip is actually a chain of levers. And as the energy moves down that chain, each lever acts as a force multiplier and builds up the energy as it moves down the whip. So it finally gets to the tip and there's enough, enough energy that's been built up that can actually move the tip faster than the speed of sound. The golf swing works the same way. It's also a chain of levers. Okay, there are two things going on here. First, in a rotational energy system, the energy moves to the part of the system that has the least mass. With a whip, the part that has the least mass is the tip, so all of the energy will flow down to the tip. Secondly, we're using rotational energy. Now, when you're moving along a straight line, that's just called momentum. And the momentum tends to carry on. When you're working on a curve, that's, you're talking about angular momentum. Now, because your arm is moving in a curve, both when you're cracking a whip and when you're swinging a golf club, we're talking about angular momentum. Now, another thing that happens is, as one piece of the chain slows down, its energy is transferred to the next piece of the chain. So, as you're cracking a whip, when your arm slows down, the energy from your arm is transferred to the next link in the chain. And remember, these are levers, so levers are force multipliers. So, your arm slows down, its energy is transferred to the next link and added to its energy. And then the fact that it's a lever, it actually multiplies the energy. When that next link in the chain slows down, it transfers its, its energy and its energy is multiplied by the lever in the next link so on and so on until you get to the end and you've got that little tip at the end moving faster than the speed of sound. Now that we understand what it takes to get a whip moving faster than the speed of sound, what does it take to get the head of this golf club moving 100 miles an hour? We know you can't do it with raw force. You can't take your hand and just move it 100 miles an hour. You can't even come close. So it's not raw force that gets it moving fast. The only hope of getting it moving fast is to understand that your body is, has to be treated like a whip and it's a whipping motion that gets that head moving fast. You have to take advantage of the kinetic chain of your golf swing, let the energy move from your core out to your arms, down to the club, and eventually all that energy will get, just like a whip, will get stored in the tip. And when it does, that will drive it faster than anything you can do with just pure force.